Lynch, you want, to, uh, you want to start us off? Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I was going to introduce myself with Dan and mess with them. Okay, that's fine. Right. <laughs> do my stuff. Okay, so should we intro ourselves? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm Flint Dilly. I'm uh, it, back in the day. I'm a G1 guy. I've had like, the two or three moments for uh, of uh, life in Transformers. And in G1, uh, I came on at the like as, a, as an associate producer, I'd been a story editor on G.I. Joe. Uh, in like mid season one, not early mid, and uh, was on really until mid season three. Uh, I wrote the miniseries from the beginning of season three and then sort of plotted out the episodes and kind of helped them deal with the Optimus Prime problem. And, uh, and then, then snuck off to humanoids and visionaries, you know, and like pretended I'd never heard of Transform. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and so I did that, and then uh, came back, did the game for G1, uh, did a, uh, then did a graphic novel series. I was thrilled to see people had uh, a guy named Chris Metzen, who is the uh, creative lead at Blizzard, the guys who do Warcraft and Starcraft and Diablo. He and I wrote a uh, graphic novel, actually those three series. So those are my different uh, periods in Transformers, and uh, happy to answer anything you want to answer now. Thank you, uh, Flynn. And uh, let's move on to Mr. Gilvezan. I'm Dan Gilvezan, <laughs> and uh, I obviously performed the uh, voice of Bumblebee, and uh, a few other... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just... I, he promised not to mess with me, and he started already. <laughs> <laughs> this goes back to a lot of experiences in, uh, you know, in recording studios and stuff like that. God, yes. I used to look in the, in, through the glass because we were all in the, in the room with the microphones. Flint was in with the rest of the producers, the writers, Wally Bird, the director, yeah. and they were constantly, they were constantly, I'd see him in there, and they'd be like, we'd do a line, and they'd be like, and I was convinced Fire they were saying, guy. boy, he sucks. You know, we, we need to recast. Yeah, and, and hopefully they were just trying no, to... No, it's usually me fighting with the producers, because like the lines the voice actors would do were often a whole lot better than what we did. And so we'd hear something really good, and the producers really didn't want to change it, because it sort of started a chain reaction of events. But when the actors would warm up, we'd, well, we'll finish your intro, we'll tell you about that. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sorry about so, that. So uh, <laughs> I, I did tons of animation uh, in the 80s. Uh, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends as Spider-Man. Um, those, uh, those are the, my two biggies. And, uh, but we did a lot of, there were so many shows going on uh, at that point, because every toy company uh, wanted a 65-episode series to back up their toy line. So it was a, it was a golden age for, for all of us, for the yep. writers, for the uh, performers. Uh, I did a show called Dino Riders, I did Sectars, I did uh, uh, Cooler and Pound Puppies for Hanna-Barbera. So just in lots and lots and lots of stuff like that. And, uh, but, you know, the, obviously the Transformers and, and Spider-Man are, are closest to my heart. So um, that's a little bit about me, but let's get, back to, uh, let's get back to those good old days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and like, you can treat us like interactive objects and just come on up and ask us questions. Because yeah. we're here to talk about what you guys want to talk about, not... I mean, we're really interested in what we want to talk about, Very but we're kind of here for, we're a live act here. Yeah.